I'm Ashley Chancellor, and this is Collateral Gaming. Welcome to Collateral Gaming, the only video game podcast that matters, where we focus on good games, bad games, and everything else in between in the world of gaming. And today, I am recording a Let's Play video game commentary on Metroid Fusion. This is an episode that we're actually going to be recording tonight <clears throat> on the podcast, so naturally, this being our first Metroid game that we're doing as a numbered episode i wanted to do a let's play on it uh metroid is a series very near and dear to my heart uh to our hearts on the podcast that um it is really in the same class as zelda when it comes to uh, video games that are just close to me you know it is one of my favorites it is probably up there right after zelda so uh, naturally this is the kind of game that i, I think we kind of always want to do a let's play on you know Every Zelda game gets a Let's Play. Every Metroid game gets a Let's Play. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Metroid Fusion. I'm just going to hit the reset button here. And we get that classic Game Boy intro. Now, guys, I'm playing this on the Wii U Virtual Console, as you probably could have tell, told. Tell? I don't know. As you could probably tell. Um... I'm also playing in handheld mode, so I figured that kind of captures the experience a little bit better. Plus, my eyesight's bad in it, it, so it's just a lot better for me this way. So I can also see it on my on my computer screen, though. I suppose either way, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna head on and watch this intro segment because might as well. sounds better but it works better with the headphones on playing um let's see yeah. anyway i've beat this game about three times over recently on 100 percent, but i'm on the collateral gaming profile now so we'll see interesting because this is one of the very first Metroid games that found that had quite as much dialogue um, as the other one. What are the first Metroid games to feature quite a bit of dialogue? Now, typically these, these sort of monologues with Samus are actually pretty normal. actually but this one seems to be a little bit longer and more involved segment we saw at the beginning. Sam is no. Alright, 
So Samus got infected by the X. This is the setup for the story here. Oh man, he can't remove Samus's power suit because it's integrated with her nervous system. Large portions of my suit had to be surgically removed. Dramat I like how they say dramatically altering my physical appearance. A lot of people felt like Samus was going to look different, but they just mean like the suit. <laughs> found a cure. Get the fusion suit, the crux of the story. So, Metroid, uh, Samus fused with the Metroid. The baby. I realize I owe the Metroid hatchling my life twice over. Or as she calls it in fusion, in other M, the baby. God. Other M is such a mess. I, you know what's funny is I defended that game for the longest time. When I was young, I liked it. I replayed it recently, or started play, playing it. God, that game is garbage. A nameless fear in my heart. See, this is where they start building up some of those elements of fear. text is cut off here. My mission on the BSL station will be overseen by my new ship's computer. Following the commands of this blunt, computerized CO is something I have to bear, as it was a condition of my taking the ship. For someone who dislikes taking orders, this is the second time I found myself having to do so. It makes me recall my other commanding officer. go now we start gameplay finally there's been an explosion in the quarantine bay of your latent abilities. Don't forget that, Samus. Hello. I love the way that they build up, you know, like tension and this is great. Now let's see how many of these power-ups I remember along the way. Because I beat this 100% three times over at this point, so... I think... Right, we're going to go off the beaten path a little bit here. And there's nothing to see here. Okay. So these navigation rooms are pretty cool. Like, 
One thing about Metroid Fusion is it's very linear. The game basically tells you everywhere you need to go. Some people, of course, aren't as happy with that aspect, but, um, I mean, I, I think that Metroid Fusion being as linear as it is allows it to be what it is, and we'll talk about that in the episode, of course, but it's still a very enjoyable game for me. So we killed that guy. Alright. Wonder if I can there we go. That's better. So head back to the navigation room. The computer tells us. Oh no. You will never be infected by X again. <clears throat> so I think this is cool how X parasites allow you to replenish health and restore weapons. So they're kind of taking a you know a video game mechanic that that that's a trope at this point and you know ascribing a reason to it. And I think that that's pretty cool. But it means that every single enemy drops one, and it, it does kill the pacing just a little bit that you have to stop and collect. I kind of wish that you had that tractor beam functionality with the charge beam. Your chance of survival is extremely low. The Federation needs you alive and on duty. Is your objective clear? No. Just kidding. Oh, I'm good, right? Alright, where are we supposed to go? go up. You can't do those great ones yet. Not till later. Come on, dude. Of course, we've got save rooms. Receive news from HQ. They can support you with downloadable weapons data. Once you have this data, you'll be able to use missiles. This will help against some enemies your beam can't hurt. Head to the data room for the download. The data room is here. Yes, thank you for making that clear. Uh, yes, my objective is very clear. With missiles, your chance of survival climbs to 20%. All right, so we're gonna grab some. We're gonna grab the missiles. Obviously, a key part of Metroid lore. We're gonna go this way first to get our missiles. Boop, 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 boop. Bloop, 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 bloop. We start out with ten missiles instead of five. Oh no.
Charge beam. All we've got are missiles. We don't even have a morph ball yet. There we go. First missile tank increases our missile. I'm trying to remember. There we go. It's like I know it's somewhere in here. I should have got the save room right there. Oh well. I'm not gonna die. I always miss that. Energy tank. Now, there's a thing here that I always miss. I know there's something here. I swear to God. Hold on. There we go. That's it. Okay. You have to know about that, basically. <laughs> There's no... I mean, who would randomly shoot a missile up? You don't have bombs yet. You don't have power bombs, either. So that's usually a late game collection. But here. If you know about it, you know about it. And I always miss it. Every single time I do a playthrough, this is the first time I've actually remembered to grab it. Oh, shit. Let's 
talk to the computer. room. It's as I fear. The birding environments have been invaded by ex-parasites. No! something cool but we'll come back later I promise not panning what is it holy shit it's samus what oh fuck that's not samus that's some creepy mother samus is super does she just launch a super missile at that door holy shit i never i could never do that i could never destroy doors with super missiles oh shit i didn't mean to do that Sector one, here we go. By the way, we're not going for any sort of speed run here. I'm I'm playing the game at a certain pace. So and I'm attempting to do I think we'll, we'll go for a hundred percent, but probably not film all of it. Objective is clear. Why did I do that? I jumped over the first one only to... <laughs> I 
I bet it looked cool, like, knowing where that pitfall was already. There you go. Only for me to fuck it up. Alright, we got three E-Tanks, that's good. What's funny is I even know where to go. I'm just I'm I'm following the logical progression of events here. Right, there's a little secret you can get right here. Oh. We don't have bombs, so you don't normally you wouldn't normally do this yet. But we We know how to do some more advanced shit. Apparently we can't wall jump though. Come on! <laughs> what the fuck? Shit. <laughs> you know what my problem is? I do it too soon. Ah, oh, I did it again. You gotta wait like one second. It's so annoying. At least it's not Metroid Fusion. Or Super Metroid. This is Metroid Fusion. At least it's not Super Metroid. Wall jumping in that game is, like, annoying. Because the controls are kind of... Will you... Fuck, man. Hold on. Guys, I swear. I can do this. Because I'm being recorded. <laughs> Hold on, I'm, I'm. So of course, the second I stopped, the second I stopped recording, it worked. I got it in like a couple tries. <laughs> like go figure. That for some reason, my wall jumping. It's not working when I'm recording myself doing it. That's okay, we're here now. Alright. I'm sorry about that, guys. I promise I'm not this trash. I just... It's gotta be with... I mean, it's, maybe it's the latency while recording. I don't know. I'm playing straight from here, though. I'm watching this screen, and I'm not watching that screen for a reason. expanding ourselves quite a bit here. Which is good. It'll make the boss battles that much easier. Of course, this game really gives you more power-ups than you can possibly need.
fell down the trap. I did it. We're gonna get here that I usually miss, but I'm gonna remember this time to get kind of like the energy tank that we got earlier in the Arachnus room. that works and sometimes it doesn't. I, I've never been able to figure that out. Wait, wait, wait. That was it. Shit. Hold on. We're resetting from our last save point. <laughs> Which means I'm going to have to backtrack a little bit. Okay, and we're back. You know what? It's not right here. I backtracked for nothing. Because it's up there, isn't it? Yeah, okay. I'm stupid. Ah! I did all that backtracking for nothing. I like reset my game. Okay. No problem. We got this. gonna save right here. You know what, we're gonna restore too, because I, I created a restore point earlier. If I need to restore, I'd rather this restore. Rather this replace it. Normally 
I'm in here late game, so I just power up these guys. Alright, another missile tank. See, that's the one that, that, uh, that's the one I'm talking about. There we go. You may not think the missile that there. I think it's usually power bomb. To sector two. That's that's where we're headed. Yes, my objective is clear. Start moving. I'll brief you at the tropical navigation room. All right, let's go. If I listened to the briefing, my thoughts returned turned to Adam. The real Adam understood me well. He would end orders by saying, any objections, lady? He knew I wouldn't disagree. That was just his way of noting our trust. I wonder if I can trust this computer, too. No, you know what? Adam's a dick, okay? As we saw in other um, misogynistic, pandering asshole. Doesn't let you use your various suit. The fuck was that not authorized already? I don't know. It's an X mimicking you. I like that uh, that little jump scare there. I've named it the SAX. Oh, this is brilliant. Just right. Don't even think about fighting. I that not Troy's vaccine. charge we just did <laughs> 10 
tantalizing. We need the high jump to get there. say there's like an Yeah. <laughs> 
wait for this guy to go. charge shots. It takes two charge shots to get those guys. So charge shots are more powerful than missiles, but super missiles are more powerful than charge shots. So once we get super missiles, the missiles then become more Thank <laughs> you. 
every boss in the game is that, you know, you get the X core X afterwards. And that can make it really frustrating sometimes, too, because you may have just barely beaten the boss at the end of the last, you know, unit of hell. But, oh no, you gotta... You gotta defeat this Korax now. I'll tell you what, I made a, I made a, a good use of save states back in the day. But I never, I never had this game on GBA. I played this on an emulator back uh, in middle school. We had flash drives with with emulators on. And that's what we did because I went to a magazine. And there were um, computers, laptops. Oh shit! What's going on? Oh fuck! first encounter and it's terrifying but you know you're like okay whatever let it pass by but you could totally bomb down here and get caught it'll kill you in like two hits alright what were we doing doing this two upgrades to get here gravity suit here. You, you would think you would, but you don't. You just need the high jump. That's right, I forgot. <laughs> We've got the jump ball. <laughs> I was like, oh, damn, this is difficult. You just have to use jump ball. Okay. Jump ball comes with high jump. Okay. Spring ball, whatever. Let's see. Doesn't say. It said it told us earlier. we go. Over here. Just 
a little extra. Beautiful. We got it through. We got through sector two, guys, and just in time. We're like right at an hour about. So this is pretty good. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and save here. And I'll see you. Guys